Hello everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday reflection. I hope you're doing well and I hope that you have been keeping well and safe. Uh, today's reflection is from the book of Job. Job 28 verses 28. Many people wish that they have wisdom. Many people wish that they have understanding. Many people wish that they have knowledge. Many have been working so hard and tirelessly uh, trying to attain wisdom. Now, there's a little story in the book of Chronicles about Solomon. When Solomon became the king of Israel, he, God asked him to pray and ask for anything that he wants God to do for him. Solomon, instead of praying to request for a lot of things, he prayed that God gives him wisdom. God gives him wisdom. As I've said, many people wish that they have wisdom. Now, when Solomon prayed about that, what happened was that God presented Solomon with a problem. <laughs> when Solomon prayed for wisdom, God presented Solomon with a problem. Two women came and they were fighting over a baby. And Solomon was able to use the wisdom that God has given him. Having been presented with that problem of two women fighting about one baby, Solomon was able to use wisdom to uh, deal with that situation very, very well. Now, so one may ask, what is wisdom? Well, that is where our biblical text today comes in. Job chapter 28, verses 28. It says that, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. <laughs> the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Job 28 verses 28. Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Brothers and sisters, so if you have been working for wisdom, if you have been seeking for wisdom, if you have been toiling for wisdom, if you wish that you have knowledge and understanding and wisdom, then the Bible is saying today that the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. In other words, if you fear God, if you believe in God, if you have all your hopes on God, then that is wisdom for you. That will begin to set your mind on wisdom. And if you depart from evil, then that will give you understanding. That will give you more understanding about the things that you are going through, about the confusion that you are in, about the chaos that you are in, about the problems and challenges that you are facing. If you depart from evil, then you will begin to have understanding. Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Brothers and sisters, the fear of the Lord is a key theme in the wisdom literature of the Bible. Now, the wisdom literature of the Bible is Job, Psalms, Proverbs, and the Songs of Solomon. This fear of the Lord is a major theme in all these books. The book of Job, the, the Psalms, the book of Psalms, the book of Proverbs, and the book of the Songs of Solomon, the book of Songs of Solomon. So if you want to gain wisdom, if you want to attain wisdom, if you want to have wisdom in, in your life, the first step is to accept God in your life. Accept Jesus in your life. Because the Bible says that the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. So brothers and sisters, don't look far for wisdom. If you are looking to get wisdom, 
if you are looking to gain understanding, if you are looking to gain knowledge and wisdom for your journey in life, then look no further. Look to the church or look to the clergy or look to the vicars or look to team rectors, bishops, archdeacons, and they will gladly lead you to Jesus. They will gladly lead you to God who will give you wisdom. The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Whatever it is that you are facing, you need wisdom in order to make sense of what is happening. So, to have that wisdom, you need God in your life. Brothers and sisters, it is told that life without God or life without Christ is life in crisis. If your life is in crisis today, if you are facing crisis in your day-to-day -day life, if you are facing chaos, confusion, then you need God in your life. And to have God in your life will give you wisdom. The fear of God, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. So the fear of God means that you have respect for God. You honor God. And you have to be in awe of His majesty and power. This is the starting point of real wisdom. Behold, the fear of God, that is wisdom. <laughs> and to depart from evil is understanding. Brothers and sisters, if you need wisdom, look to the church. If you need wisdom and you know a Christian, go to him. He will lead you to God. He or she will lead you to God and you will gain wisdom. If you need wisdom in your life, go to the clergy. Pick up a phone and ring me. I will introduce you to God. The Almighty God, the I am that I am, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the Son of the living God, and He will give you wisdom. If you need understanding in your life, then you need to depart from evil. The fear of God, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Brothers and sisters, faith in God should be the controlling principle for your understanding of the world. It should be the controlling principle of your attitude. Faith in God should be the controlling principle of your actions. Trust in God or believe in God and He will make you ever wise and wiser. Brothers and sisters, fear God and He will make you wise in your life. Fear God and He will make you wise in your marriage. Fear God and He will make you wise in your schooling, in your university, in your college. Fear God and He will make you wise in your job and in your career. Fear God and He will give you wisdom in how to handle your finances. Fear God and you will, you will be able to handle your finances well and have financial freedom. Fear God and you will have wisdom and have financial stability. Because God will give you wisdom in order to know how to handle money. To know how to handle your money well. To know how to spend your money wisely. So you will have financial freedom. Fear God and you will be wise in your life. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you on Thursday. God bless you. <laughs>